Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the new Windows 11 Do Not Disturb notification settings. So depending on when you're watching this video, you may or may not have these options available. So I have uh, two different computers here we're going to be uh, showing you. So the first one here is the Windows 11 retail version. And then I also have this one on the Insider program on the dev channel, build 25174. Okay, so first we're going to go back to the retail. So if you go to the settings, and then you go to notifications, you know, you can turn them off altogether right here. It's, you know, it's a little different than do not disturb, I guess. We're just disabling them altogether. And then, of course, you could turn them on and off per apps, per app setting. And then you have these checkbox here you could also use. And then you have your focus assist where you could uh, choose which notifications you want to see in here. And then the other ones will go straight to notification center. So you could do the priority list and alarm only if you want to, you know, just have your alarms shown and that kind of thing. And then you could turn on the uh, rules for a specific time. And then you have these check boxes or sliders, of course. So now we're going to go to the, uh, the newer settings here and show you how you, how it differs. So now you can see here we can turn them off altogether as well. And then you could turn off or turn on do not disturb, which I will send your notifications to the notification center. And then you could also do it by clicking down here in your notifications and just click there. And that turns it on. And then you can just come back and turn it off real quick. So it's kind of a shortcut rather than going into the settings and finding it. And then you have your do not disturb automatically uh, settings where you could uh, choose a time where it's not going to disturb you. And then, of course, you could check or uncheck these boxes if you want to have some kind of uh, exceptions that you could add. And then you have the priority notifications. So these will be shown um, even if you have the do not disturb off or on, I should say. Choose which notifications are allowed while do not disturb is on. And all others will be sent to the notification center. And then alarms and important app notifications aren't affected by these settings. So if you want to have these turned on for your VoIP calls, if you have that configured clock, and then you could add an app if you need more on this list. And then, of course, if you want to remove something, click on the dots here and remove it. So let's say you don't want any Xbox items, even when you're on Do Not Disturb, just remove that, simple as that. And then, of course, you have the... Uh, Focus, instead of called the focus assist, it's just called focus now, and you can start focus sessions and that kind of thing. And then you get to go back to do not disturb. So as you can see, it's uh, it's a little bit different. It's not completely different, but it kind of gives you some more fine-tuning options for the do not disturb, um, especially this guy down here, which I really like, because you can just turn it on real quick. And if you're doing like a meeting or a Zoom meeting and you want to just... Disable that so you don't have your notifications popping up if you're sharing your screen uh, compared to the retail version here. Go back to notifications here. Where you don't really have a do not disturb option, you could just turn things on or off or set up the focus assist, which is similar. So yeah, so uh, go into your settings here and if you have the uh, do not disturb in your notification settings and you know you have the newer settings and if not then I guess you'll have to wait till they show up on an update. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.